Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to talk about inline label for the fields and how you can place that in three different places in the code. So imagine you have a long form vertical and you want to shorten it by placing the label on the left. And there's a function that you can place on the field called inline label. For example, if you have list of inputs in any of them, you can do inline label. And then if we refresh the page, we have label on the left. It doesn't always necessarily look better. In this case, I would debate, but you can do that. The problem with the documentation of filament in this case, that you cannot find it in the docs. If you go inline label, nothing found. So you should go for inline and inline works on various like radio buttons, toggle buttons, checkbox and stuff like that. So the first thing I wanted to show you that is not in the docs is inline label. But then what if you want to set that not for a specific field, but for many fields, like for example, all the form or all the project. So if you want to configure that globally in the app service provider, you can do something like this configure using for various fields of the form. So separately text input, radio select, and date picker. Those all support inline label as a function. And now we can remove it from here. We refresh the page and now all our fields are with inline label. And if we go to any other form in users form, for example, we go to new user and those are also in line. But then there's the third option. What if you want to do that on specific form, like employees should be in line, but other forms should not. So let's go to app service provider and let's comment those out. And you can put the inline label, not on a specific field like this, but on the form. So in the form method, in this case, we have a wizard here, but it doesn't really matter. Form schema, even before schema or after schema, it's your personal preference, you go inline label like this. Then all the fields within that form would be in line. We refresh, they are in line. But if we go to users column, they are on top, not in line anymore. So this is just one example of filament feature that could be set on different levels on the field, on the form, or the project. And this idea is also published as a free tutorial on our refreshed filament examples. So if you go to filamentexamples.com, you can see tutorials here with free tutorials. So in addition to premium projects, which are available on GitHub for premium members who want to purchase them, we will now start publishing separate, shorter, free tutorials, free at least for now, with kind of shorter snippets from those premium projects or just random ideas that sometimes I shoot on this channel. So one of those free tutorials is exactly about that in line label in three places. You can set it on the field, you can set it globally or set it on the form. So yeah, you can browse through filament examples tutorials, or I hope in the future you will just casually land on Google search results that would lead to our tutorials. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.